watching round one of the Vodka O Australian GT Championship from the streets of Adelaide. Race day qualifying was an expensive affair. Despite being one of only 10 in the world, Mark Eddy's crew managed to find the parts that would enable the Audi R8 GT3 to get back out on the track the following day. In spite of the warning signs, several other drivers also had close calls at Turn 1 during the session. The number 7 Mosler was not so lucky. The damage to Tony Quinn's newly acquired car was so great that it would not be seen again this weekend. The rolling start unique to GT Racing. Peter Hackett on pole in the Lamborghini and he's gone nowhere. Max Twink's jumped him. Absolutely, Max got right around the outside of him. It's been a few years since Pete's raced in GT. The new rule is when the green flag waves, you get going. And he's being dumped back to third. Greg Crick in the Viper has taken second spot. Look at this huge field work to chicane. Absolutely, David Wall up the inside there. Big move down the inside. You can see James Kanduris is trying to get a bit of that action as well. As the race progressed, several drivers began to find their rhythm. It's the Battle of the Vipers, Ian Palmer and Ross Lilly, the 8.3 litre V10. It's a big, heavy car, but it's good under brakes when they're fighting one another. Huge move down the inside. Ross Lilly there pulls it up. It's a big car to pull up under brakes into that turn three, but he does it nicely. And what a great shot at turn five. Look at the bumps in the cars dealing with the left-hander. Last year's series champion soon started to slice his way through the field. David Wall, a great run off turn eight, big move at turn nine. We know the Porsches are great under brakes, and he proves the point. Absolutely, you can see the strength of the Porsche is its ability to get in there, get the job done, straight down the inside there of Peter Hacker. Here he is lining up them for another run down the inside of Greg Creek, and same again, you see again, pulls that Porsche up down the inside, and thank you very much. Oh, James Kanduris gets involved with Peter Hacker, and around goes the Porsche. Andrew Taplin was making sure the Porsches didn't have it all their own way. Andrew Taplin, the local racer in the Lamborghini, has now Shane Smolman under fire from Mark Sini. Two different specifications of Porsche, but the same action. After his qualifying crash in the number seven Mosler, Tony Quinn commandeered the team's number 12 car and was soon making up lost ground. What an awesome sound. The seven litre V8 Chev based engine. Stops all right too. It certainly does. You can see he's trying to follow the uh, the Lamborghini there. We've got Jordan Ormsby on the inside there. He's running in GT Challenge. It's a slightly older RSR. Down the oh, oh, straight into the side of the Lamborghini. Thank you very much. Some bodywork falls off, but Tony Quinn pushing on up over the curb at turn 13. This is where you really start to see the differences between the cars. Here we have the, the Lamborghini in front. You see the Moser gets the run up the inside. The Lamborghini bit hard on the throttle, a little bit out of shape, and here comes the big power of the Moser up the outside. Down here into turn one, will he get it done? Yes, he does. Jim Richards just behind in the 997 GT3 Cup car, which doesn't have the sheer speed of the other cars. There was more than one Mosler on a mission. Ash Samadi, the brand new Mosler, down the inside on Ian Palmer. Nice move. Absolutely. Ash is loving his time in the Mosler. It's a new car for him this weekend. It's a chance to really, I suppose, get a feel of what the car's like, but he's looking forward to the whole season. And that's one of the great parts of GT racing. There's such a mix of engines, drive lines, weights, and of course there's parity adjustments made between all the cars. And there's also parity adjustments based on the seating of the drivers. The race for first became a game of cat and mouse. The two Porsches head to turn eight. David Wall is so close here, and Max Twink knows it. Down the inside, he's having a look. Will he pull it up? David Wall's deep under brakes, down the inside, and thank you very much. Max Twink gives him a bit of room, and on, on they go again. Some lap traffic up ahead to deal with. Andrew McPherson in the most lap. chicane you can only do that for so long with these cars yeah these cars aren't designed to jump off the curbs like this you can see lap traffic's coming whoa, whoa, into play whoa, whoa. the maserati and twiggy he's run wide and that's given david wall the gap that he needs then on the last lap of the race oh shane smolen the gt challenge porsche it's popped the radiator and whacked in a wham palmer down the inside on those bumps oh. in the back and that viper's going nowhere <laughs> But nothing could stop David Wall. 
from third on the grid. He fought his way to the lead, and David Wall, the reigning champ, will start 2010 in the way he finished 2009. Number one, he leads home Max Twig and Greg Prick. Jim Richards rounded out the top ten. Gary Dan took GT Challenge, and Mark O'Connor, GT Production.